This is a let's play for a demo for a game called The Graveyard. Now since it's called The Graveyard, I assume there must be lots of zombies about to come out of these graves. Now it's unusual that the protagonist seems to be this old, slow-walking woman, but let's see where it goes. Alright, let me try to go right, and it doesn't seem to want to let me go right. And certainly change the camera view. Uh, let me let me get out of there then. And of course, I am moonwalking backwards. I tell you, I am stoked for the arrival of the zombies, though. I mean, look, look it's all black and white and everything. That's got to be a nod. A nod to George Romero's The Night of the Living Dead. Any minute now, zombies are going to start coming out of those graves. It's going to go all, you know, uh, they're coming to get you, Barbara. And that's going to be awesome. We're walking, still walking, still walking. All right, I, obviously this is this is uh, not the most thrilling Let's Play footage, is it, folks? But uh, y y you know, y you gotta say that it's uh, it's at least a pretty cool-looking walking animation. There's a lot of cool scenery here. Uh, I do see that her cane is facing through the ground, as do the birds when they land. Uh, but you know, th that's okay. It's, it's mostly good. I mean, the trees always look like shit, but trees always look like shit in games, don't they? It's the leaves. I must say, it, it's a very tranquil graveyard, you know? The, the sounds of the insects, the birds chirping in the background, the sound of dogs barking. It, it, it's very peaceful. Yeah. Which means that any minute it's going to make a sudden tone shift and the zombies are just going to come out and there's going to be this music that swells up and it's just going to... and it'll probably all happen at that bench. You know, I think this is the only old lady playable character ever. That doesn't seem possible, though, does it? I mean, I'm not very familiar with the Tomb Raider series, though. Isn't there a later game where Laura Croft is really old and uh, she has to keep going in for kidney dialysis? No? The game only exists in my head? How do you sit down on this bench? You'd think that'd be an easy thing, but I, I guess I gotta rotate her around, and then maybe I can sit down? Alright, folks, I seem to be having a lot of trouble sitting down here. I, uh... I, there are movement keys for this game, but I don't really think there's, like, a button that lets you sit down. Uh... Maybe if I'd paid more attention to the credits at the beginning, maybe it said something about how to sit down, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting the character to sit down. Uh, I, maybe it's a metaphor for how difficult it is for old people to move around, how hard it is for them to sit down and get up from sitting down. And No, no, I, I, I'm reading too much into it. it. It's bad controls, isn't it? I want to draw attention to your... Uh, to this lighting, though. Isn't that cool how the lighting keeps changing completely? There are clouds moving super fast through the sky, far too fast for regular clouds. But, uh, it's a cool effect. They must have put a lot of effort into it. It's a pity we can't, uh, say, adjust the camera and look up at the sky, but whatever. Whoa, well, well, what's this? I hit escape, I'm trying to look for a menu or something that would explain what the hell I'm doing. And I get this. This looks like it could be something. Let's hold it here for a second. So the first paragraph just tells me I need to turn her around and she'll look back and sit automatically, I guess. When you are done, you walk with her back to the gate and you both leave the graveyard to quit the game. That's it? She sits down on the bench and then, and then, and then something happens and then you walk out of the graveyard and quit the game? Could that be it? Well, well, maybe. She sits down on the bench, and then that's when the zombies attack. And you fight, and you either walk out of the graveyard or get killed right there at the bench. Of course. It's gotta be it. Alright, folks. You've waited for this for a long time. She's turning. She's turning. And the eagle has landed. What terrors will emerge now that she has sat down upon that bench? Will vampires come from their crypts? 
unseen, unspeakable terrors out of the Cthulhu mythos. Zombies crawling out of their graves to get her. What terrors await? Ah! It's a song! Not just any song either, it's in German, so we need subtitles, and it's about all her dead relatives. Lovely. Renee, she had fibroids? That's it? You're gonna say anything more? You gave three lines to Irma, and you just gave three lines to Auntie Mo. Emma the Stillborn gets four lines, but, but no, poor Renee. She just gets, she had fibroids. Pfft. Poor Renee. All these dead relatives of hers and describing what they died of. Is this setting up for them showing up as zombies? You know, uh, the, the little stillborn infant girl biting at your ankles, Renee all covered with uh, whatever fibroids are. I, I should Wikipedia that. Roger all cancery. Wait, so if this song is all clearly stream of consciousness from the old woman, it's her thoughts, then that means her internal narrator's voice is a young man who sings in German. It's, uh, it's kind of weird for an old woman to have a young man singing in German as her internal narrator's voice, but, uh, to each his own, I guess. I mean, my internal narrator's voice is, is truly disturbing, and one day I will tell you what it is. Not just now, because it's too horrific. And now the song is about how the old woman, if she was younger, would clean the graveyard because it's kind of poorly maintained? It's kind of weird. But graveyard maintenance is important. Did you know that 9 out of 10 graveyards are poorly maintained? And that 5 out of 10 statistics are completely fabricated? Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm starting to miss all the walking. You know, just kind of sitting on this bench listening to a song. Eh, it's not quite the same as all that fun walking. You know, actually, it is far more frightening than zombies ever would be. Oh, I, I don't mean like this song and this game and all of it. You know, like it makes you contemplate your own mortality. And it's all somber. What with like it's being black and white for artistic reasons and all that. No, no, no. I, I don't mean any of that. You know, all this avant-garde crap, clearly. I, I mean that, that that old woman, she sat down on that bench and then a song started playing. Imagine yourself wandering around in any place in this world where there would be benches, right? And uh, I don't know, maybe you just bought some food and you, you, you went and sit, sat down on a bench real quick and uh, you're just sitting there and all of a sudden this song starts and you're looking around and you're like where's that music coming from? What's going on? And that, that would just be so alarming. You'd, you'd probably be like looking under the under the bench trying to find speakers and, and you, you like try to look behind it and you don't see any speakers there and you're starting to go Where, where's that music coming from? What's going on? And no other people are near the bench, of course not. No, no, they're kind of distant, so they're looking at you like, why is that guy freaking out? They aren't close enough to hear the music if the music is real, but maybe it's all in your head. Maybe you've gone mad. Maybe this is how insanity starts. You just sit down on a bench one day and hear a disembodied song, and you're digging around in the grass looking for speakers, thinking, where is that music coming from? What's going on? Wow, I... I didn't notice, but the, the music has stopped, if it was ever there to begin with. And the old woman stared down menacingly at herself. Wow, we're, we're still sitting on the bench. The song's been over for quite a while, but we're still there at the bench, stuck there. Uh, am I supposed to click something, maybe? Or are we waiting for something? We're just supposed to sit here for a minute? I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. This pause, this is when the zombies start showing up. Ugh. Come on. I'm just kidding myself. There's not going to be any zombies in this game. Of course not. There's not going to be anything interesting. It's just walking and sitting on a bench while a song plays. It's an artsy game that believes it's deeper than it is. 
How that sickens me. Well, let me go ahead and complete the experience by slowly walking back out of the graveyard. Yay. I will not allow this game to defeat me. I am going to take a side path and see if there's anything interesting there. I'm walking in place against an invisible wall. Well, I know when I'm defeated. Billy Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Poor, dead, fictional Renee. I, uh, I don't know what to say, you know? I mean, this, this game took her too soon, and off screen, so we didn't really get to know her, but, but I still feel I kind of knew her somehow. Do, do, you, do you know what I mean? Daddy, why does Grandma walk to that weird bench in the cemetery and sit alone for several minutes? Well, you see, Sally, Grandma goes to that bench to hear her internal narrator sing in his young, masculine voice with a cacophonous song. What's the song about? Well, Sally, it's a very depressing song about all of her dead relatives and so forth, and how she would like to be dead, too. Gr Grandma's very depressed, but we aren't getting her any help. Why not, Daddy? Well, Pumpkin... Grandma cut us out of the will, so I don't care anymore. If you enjoyed this trial version of The Graveyard, you may be interested in acquiring the full version. The full version completes the experience with one extra feature, death. What? Is that supposed to mean? I, I need to research this, folks. Alright, let's see what Wikipedia has to say about all this. And uh, you notice that my theme on Firefox is... Halloween oriented with like a a bat flapping when it's loading instead of that stupid little circle thing. Yeah. Wikipedia here explains that the old woman might die of natural causes if you have the full game instead of the demo. Let's see how much that costs. So here we are at the Steam page for the graveyard. You can buy the full version for $4.99. So for four ninety nine, you buy the possibility that your character might die randomly while you're playing this boring ten minute game that you will never play again. I need to cleanse myself of this wretched game. Do I have a game where I actually get to kill zombies in a cemetery? Hmm. Until next time, this has been J. Matt Weigand from Reviews from Purgatory. Remember, don't Wikipedia fibroids. I regretted it immediately. <laughs>